out to the store. You kids keep an eye on Florian while I'm gone. I think he wants to go to the beach. Yeah, we all had a great time there. Mm hmm. It's too bad the beach is so far away. We can't go. I wish we could. Sorry, Florian. No beach today. Even though we can't go, what if we bring the beach here? And how would we do that? Well, first, we would need a lot of sand. Check out all this sand! Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get it to Grandma's house. Piece of cake. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> Where to? Um... Never fear! You're talking to the world's best surveillance dino! Found it! Let's go! I think that's enough sand. Let's head home. Let's dig here! Oh my! That's quite a sandbox! What do you think, Florian? I'm not sure Grandma's gonna be wild about this pile of dirt. I have an idea. Let's turn this into something your grandma would like. Nice! Grandma always wanted a flower bed. Huh? Now all it needs is some flowers. Welcome to the beach, Florian. I don't understand. Why are you still crying? I know. The sea. Beaches aren't beaches without it. Too bad there's no river here. Maybe not, but we can make do. Thor, can you dig a hole right here? No problem. Easy. Little to the left. Bingo! Oh, thanks. I didn't realize you were the digging expert. Ready! I guess the ground is thirsty. How can we waterproof this? We'd need a pool or something. Yeah, too bad you don't have a big square trailer. One that's exactly the same size as the hole you just dug. But what do I know? You're right. We can just use the trailer. Jerry, you're the best. Ha! Come on, guys. Let's set the trailer right in the pit. Uh, yeah. huh? That's some beach. Huh? Huh? That's Grandma's bus. Hi, guys. Uh. Hi, Hi Grandma. Grandma. Hello, dears. What in the world? 
I've always wanted a massive flower bed like this. Right now it's just dirt. It needs flowers. That's not all that's new over here. Check it out. Florian wanted his own private beach. What busy little bees. How did you manage these things? I think someone deserves a treat. Here we go. Ice cream bars. I picked them up at the store. Thanks a bunch, Grandma. <laughs> what? I think he's saying he wants to share his ice cream bar with our dinosaur friends, right? <laughs> Great idea, Florian. Without them, we couldn't have made our private beach today. Let's go! <laughs> Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Turbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in Viber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. Then the handsome bus driver said to your old grandma, that brooch really compliments your skin tone. What brooch? Also, what's a brooch? Oh, gracious. I seem to have lost it. Oh, Don't worry, grandma. Let's think back. When was the last time you saw it, if you remember? Hmm. Hmm? Oh. oh! She says the last time she remembers seeing it was leaving the hair salon. She says it was on her shirt. So somewhere between here and there. No, Peter. She went a lot of other places after leaving the salon. Finding it won't be easy. Maybe not. But I bet we can do it. With a little help, of course. she left the salon, our grandma turned the corner here. And I'm pretty sure she would have gone this way to the grocery store, which is right there. Then she called a cab to come home. I already called the taxi company. They said they didn't find anything in their car. It's probably somewhere in the city then. We should retrace your grandma's steps, going everywhere she went. We'll start with that. Great. Thor, you can try this corner. Bull, you'll go here. Unky, check out that area. Katie and I will search inside the grocery store. Now remember, guys, keep a low profile around people. And me? What am I supposed to do? Jerry, you're our most valuable pair of eyes. Keep surveillance over the town. We're looking for something really small, so look closely. I have an idea. What if we get Toby to help us out? Maybe he can track Grandma's scent on the brooch. I think he's part scent hound. Sounds good. Any help we can get. Go, go, Turbozoids! Toby, sniff. Shoo! Stop, Toby. This is not time for snacks. Toby, stop! Get back here! Well, we learned something. Our dog's a terrible detective, and he likes hot dogs. What did he find now? Another poor cyclist? Maybe some trash? Peter! He found the brooch! You sure? Nice! <laughs> Jerry! Think you can catch that bird? I only have a hundred million years of experience. <laughs> 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 She must have been distracted by my charm. I'm too handsome. Oh no! What do we do now? Every problem has a solution. Jerry, go find all the Turbozors. We've got a new challenge to tackle. 
Bull and Thor, we'll need you guys to dig up this drain pipe. Anki, then you can pick it up. Once we get the brooch out, the pipe goes right back in the ground. And Jerry, you can just hang out and stuff. Uh? Go, go, Turbozors! you kids were able to find it. You must have had to trek all over town. Anything for you, Grandma. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever. Huh? Peter, you turn on our show and I'll get the ice cream. Is that okay with you, Grandma? Uh-huh. Huh? Huh. Now why isn't the TV working? And the freezer isn't working either. All of the ice cream has melted. I guess the electricity's out. No cartoons and no ice cream. How are we going to live? <sighs> well, we'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way. Huh? Uh. I have just the thing. What I have here is... A dynamo machine. When you crank it, it generates electricity. So, I am going to see if the neighbors need help with their electric... No good. It's rusted solid. And we need to be able to turn it hard enough so the light comes on. It won't budge. What do we do now? We call in the Turbozors. That's what. Did someone say Turbozors? Huh? <laughs> Best to leave this in the hands of a professional. Leave it to the professionals, Jerry. Chuck is right. But Jerry, we need you to fly on a mission to see why all the lights went out. Go, go, Turbosaurs! 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 The electricity went out because a windmill fell over, and then... <gasps> Why are you all looking at me like that? The wind is so strong, the windmill tilted over. Why does it have that, uh, propeller? It works just like a dynamo machine. Only the wind turns the blades, and they generate electricity. And electricity is what runs the refrigerator, the TV, and turns on all the lights. In order to fix the windmill, we need to first put it back in its place. Chuck, you lift it up. We'll help. And Jerry, you wave the flag once it's standing tall. Ready? Go, go, Turbozords! Oh, 
righty. Lift, lift. Now back. Ah, ah. Yeah, just checking to see how deep it is. I gotta say, it's pretty deep. What? What? I'm just shooing a bee away. Shoo! Shoo! We have to hook the windmill higher up, and Unky's cable won't reach. I've got what you need. Set in five minutes and be harder than stone. Not even a hurricane will move. But what should we do about that? Hey. We have to catch it. Turbozords, follow that coil. <gasps> I still think electricity is a powerful and rather useful invention. Grandma. We cranked up the dynamo, but the lamp still won't turn on. Why is that? Oh, it seems that bulb burned out about a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Paulina, my beloved nephews, Boris and Bruno, are missing. Maybe they're just out playing in the woods. But they could be lost in there. Oh, I'm sick with worry. There's no need to worry, Aunt Nora. We'll find them. <laughs> huh? Huh? Stunning! Yeah. Enchanting! The Queen of the Forest! We need your help right away! Will you please help us find Boris and Bruno? Just look at this photo shoot! Ah. Don't get sidetracked! Our friends need you! <laughs> this Master Scout is on the job! <laughs> They're on a road in the forest. Can we catch up with them? You can consider them already caught. Next stop, the forest! Wait, they left without me. Can't slow down. Aunt Nora thinks you're lost. But we left her a note that says we're taking a trip around the world. And as soon as we circle the whole Earth, we'll be back immediately. What do we do, Peter? I have a plan. Nobody can rest until we get Boris and Bruno to return home. But how? It seems they don't want to go back home. Every problem has a solution. Now, here they are. Bull and Thor, I want you to dig a big hole up ahead so they'll think there's road work. Uh. Boris and Bruno will have to turn here, where they will be met by a blockage of fallen trees. A blockage courtesy of Chuck. I love to set up blockages. Just don't forget to remove them when we're done. What if I just left a twig or two? Hmm. <clears throat> to bypass the blockage, they'll have to go down to the ravine. And who's gonna make the ravine? Nobody. Nature already made it. That was awfully nice of nature to dig a ravine so that we didn't have to. In order for them to climb out of the ravine, we need to build a new road. I nominate Thor, Bull, and Unky. Go, go, Turbozors! Huh?
Quick, hide! They're getting close! It looks like a dead end. You think we've reached the end of the whole world? Bruno, if we had traveled around the entire world, we would be back home already because the Earth is round. Now follow me. I don't want to travel around the world anymore. I'm tired. I want cake with cranberries. The sooner we travel around the world, the sooner we can have lunch. Let's go. How will we ever be able to get out of here? Don't be afraid. We'll come up with something. I told you he'd think of something. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! We're home! <laughs> Where have you been? I was so worried. <laughs> Aunt Nora, we just traveled around the entire world. <laughs> and it's not nearly as big as we thought it was. Nonsense. The Earth is incredibly large. Look, this is a model of our Earth called a globe. And it's impossible to bike across the entire Earth, boys. Because on the way, you will come across not only the mountains and deserts, but also the oceans. So you're saying we didn't travel across the whole Earth? I don't think so. Unless, of course, you flew around it like a bird or a plane or maybe a spaceship. I could do it. And I could do it, too. <laughs> You make a delicious cranberry cake. Eat to your heart's content. I'm so grateful you found my nephews. What do they have to do with it? We're the ones who came home on our own. Yeah, let us eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> You're both hard at work. So, what are you drawing? A big theater. And a dance show. Grandma, when's the last time you've seen one? Not for a long while. Mr. Charlie and I used to go all the time, but we don't get out to see shows anymore. But why not? Peter, let's put on a dance show for the two of them. Great idea. We could show them all the dancing that we've been learning at school. But where should we perform it? We'll need to find some kind of theater space. Let's build one. And I know who can give us a hand. Who could that be? <laughs> but I don't know anything about theater. And I do not know anything about dancing. And I know even less than these two. How can we help? Mm. It's just like a movie, only it has live actors. And a stage instead of a screen. So let's work together and build a theater. I think I just found the perfect location for a theater. It's not all that far from Mr. Charlie's house. It's out in the woods, and it even has some abandoned logs that are covered with a tarp and are still in a good condition. Everything about it sounds perfect. Hooray! Go, go, Turbo Zords! thing we should do is clear this whole area. I'm on it. Let's do it. Don't forget that we need to leave space for the audience. Great work. Unky, why are you just standing there? Take those logs and set them up according to this diagram, please. Uh, <laughs> Easy now. Those logs should all be aligned. Wow. Jerry, 
you're quite a prompter. There's no need for name calling, Katie. <laughs> Don't be offended. A prompter is an important job in the theater. They sit in a special hidden place and whisper instructions to the performers. Yes, I think I was born to be a prompter. So where will my special place be? I can't wait to start prompting everyone. Uh, almost. Ah. Oh my, a theater. Joe, how do you know about the theater? My dears, of course I know about the theater. Since I was little, I have longed to be a grand diva. Pardon me, Joe, but just what is a diva? The most important artist. Huh? I've got it. Now I know exactly what I should call myself. I am the diva of all prompters. <laughs> That's enough! Grandma and Mr. Charlie will be here soon, and we're not ready! Right, we can't let them see the Turbozors. Listen, everyone, it's time to go and hide. But we don't want to leave the theater and hide. We want to be able to see the show, too. Luckily, I know just what to do. Hmm. <laughs> Peter, Katie, cover us up with the tarp. You can tell Mr. Charlie and your grandmother that we're extra sets. On wheels. You can watch the show from under here. I don't know about you guys, but I can't see a thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> there. Great. So sit quietly and enjoy the show from here. Thor, let's switch places. Then we can all see through the eye holes. They have no idea what's really under the tarp. you become. That was really something to see. I think I'll run home now. I want to make something special to celebrate your performance. I'll go help her. <sighs> that dancing was so awesome. I am so impressed. You two have real talent. I could never do that. I may be the diva here, but right now you two are the stars. Well, I was <laughs> disappointed. There was absolutely nothing for me to whisper. You two didn't make a single mistake. <laughs> <laughs> For an evenly distributed tan, expose your whole body. You're evenly blocking the whole sun. Nothing is being distributed on me but a bunch of sand. But how could I block out the sun? Chuck, please stop looking at the sun. Have you completely forgotten what happened the last time? What exactly happened last time? <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Good job burying yourself in the sand. Today would be great for swimming. Too bad we don't have a big diving board, though. If we swam here, we would need a rescue tower and a lifeguard in case someone needed help. Hey, guys! I'll be lifeguard. I'll climb the tower and huh? keep lookout. Help me! Help me! Fear not! There's no need to panic because... <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it seems our lifeguard needs a lifeguard. <laughs> For your information, I always start rescues lying down. It's settled. Let's work together and build two towers. One will be for diving, the other will be for rescuing. We need to do a really good job. That way, people from the whole city could swim here. Then I better get ready to rescue them all. What should we use to build the towers? I say we build them out of stones and fallen trees. That way, we'll clean the forest, too. 
Go, go, Turbozors! Bull and Chuck, gather the stones. Thor and Unky, you'll gather the trees. Then we'll convert them into logs. Jerry? My job will be to make sure that everybody is working safely. Listen up. Who knows the most important part of both a rescue tower and a diving board? <laughs> the very most important part of a rescue tower is the lifeguard. Well done, Jerry. So then for a diving board, it has to be the diver. Not quite, Chuck. Huh. What is a diving board's most important part? Water! <laughs> <laughs> Attention swimmers! There's no swimming past the buoys, and no matter what, no one is allowed to sneeze. board is super high. Who's jumping first? Uh, right now I really need some exercise. Uh, same with me. <laughs> I'll show you what to do. Watch closely. And that's how it's done. We can do that too, you know. Right, Thor? Uh, right, Unky. But maybe Chuck should go before us, or Bull. But we're way too big. You guys ought to go first. There's nothing to fear because Jerry the lifeguard's here. Well, thank you, Jerry. I guess it's better than nothing. Unky, I need you to be sure to let me know when we get to the top. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I closed my eyes at first, too. But then I remembered that we're powerful turbozors. Right, Thor? Uh, uh, you're right. It's not that bad with your eyes open. Come down. You don't have to jump. But we Turbozors are not afraid of anything. Uh -huh. Just count to three for us. And one, two, two three! three. Ah! <laughs> Guess what, guys? I filmed it all. That was totally amazing. Aw, I'm glad they're safe, but I really wanted to rescue someone. It's a pity that none of us need help with swimming. Climbing might tire us out. And if so, then I can save you, right? Nice one. Hmm. I'm bored. What's everyone up to? Good move, Chuck. You just might beat me at my own game today. Oh, cool. Did I win yet? Usually it takes more than one turn. Pick the knight. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Your move! Yeah. Remember, Peter, a goalie's job is to never get distracted. What? Like that. <sighs> I told you. 
You ruined both soccer and chess, Sherry. Those games are dumb. I'm bored and don't want to do either of those. Jerry, I know what you could do. <gasps> it's an old radio from my grandma's attic. Mm -hmm. Look here. And later this afternoon, we yeah. should see some scattered clouds uh, come in, but no rain. Downtown, we've got a traffic jam uh, leading up the Central uh, Expressway. Uh, Drivers are encouraged uh, to take a detour see? to the south. See? Now you can hear what's going on in town. Is your hair thinning? I've got just the thing for you. Well, check we should probably go check in with our grandma. Play soon? <laughs> we got a bottle airplane. And Aunt Nora wants to try this thing out. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Remember, kids, when trying something new, read the instructions first. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, got it. Boris, turn it on. <laughs> it's not working. Is it broken? Aunt Nora, you might need to release it. What? <laughs> Let your Aunt Nora see those controls. I'm the one who read the instructions. Huh? <laughs> well, looks like it's gone. Don't worry, we'll find your plane. Hey, where did Jerry go? We have an important mission for him. Looks like it's gonna be another scorcher, folks. But oh, I does scorcher mean something other than fire? I know lots of baseball sun, sun, scores sun. now. Oh. oh, that beeping's new. That's a weird signal. It sounds like an SOS. SOS is a distress call. It means someone needs help. I bet it's a huge plane. Maybe it's in the storm. What should we do? We should build a safe place to land. <laughs> the plane's almost here. Thor, uh, let's clear the field of rocks and stuff. Both, you can level the ground. Uh -huh. Chuck, you can help pave the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Anki, uproot any tree stumps. Joe, your headlights will make great runway lights for the landing strip. Go, go, Turbozors! Here, I see the plane. What's this thing? It's the plane, a toy. Thank you both so much. How did you find it? We just looked all over with help from friends. <laughs>talking about i don't have four drum sets come on keep the timing right whatever five six seven eight peter do you think that boris and bruno will ever become famous drummers like they want to 
Well, nothing's impossible. Oh, what are you guys doing? Berry picking. Wanna come with? No can do. We're working on our hit single. <laughs> I don't want us to get lost. Should we turn back? Huh? Peter, listen! It's a creep. Too bad it's so far from Grandma's house. Huh? Not that far. Hmm. We must have made a giant circle. The houses are over there. On that side of the creek. Huh? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> ah, you want a trail? We should clear out the branches. How many hills are there? One, two, three. <laughs> Can this log help? I know. What if we used these logs to make a walking path like a bridge across the pond? <laughs> Chuck can look for more fallen trees. <laughs> Thor, you can saw them into stepping blocks. Unky, you can help put them in the creek at the right places. We should be careful not to disturb the plants, too. This area has a lot of pretty ones. Yeah, you're right. This will be a real nature trail. <sighs> All this talk of a nature trail makes me feel like dancing. Oh. <laughs> go, go, Turbozords! You want a commemorative photo? Not really, Jerry. Thanks for offering to help me out here. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> this nature trail is looking great. Well done, guys. We're not done yet. I've got labels. What a positively whimsical plant. It's carnivorous. It's sticky inside, so it can catch flies. When uh -huh. bugs smell the flower, the plant just eats them up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> no, you're a lot bigger than a little bug. This plant would never be able to eat a dinosaur. Good work. The nature trail is open for business. Excellent work, everybody. You guys are the best friends ever, because we couldn't do it alone. I can't wait to drink some fresh spring water. What a nice surprise. Oh, I never knew such interesting plants were around here. I wonder who did all this. Mm, I wish I knew of this spring earlier. This lovely cold water is just so refreshing. Huh? Look! Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, this world's full of the unknown. Like, I wish I knew how to play the drums, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Grandma!
Mama, are you ready to pick the mushrooms? And berries, too? <laughs> you two go on without me. I fear I'm a bit too tired for an adventure today. <laughs> but it looks like the little one's all ready to go. <laughs> Peter, why don't we deliver the mushrooms and berries we pick to the people in town? Because most of them don't have time to go to the woods. Great idea. And why don't we ask the Turbozors for help? Let's go! Fantastic! You can count on the Turbozors all the way. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let's go pick some mushrooms and berries. Can you believe it? There's enough to feed the whole city! Check out this cool-looking mushroom I found! I wanted to eat it, but of course I didn't because it's not for me. First of all, Jerry, the fly agaric is not for eating. And second, we need to build a warehouse to store and keep our harvest safe. Good idea, Bull. But first, I think we should make a building plan. This will be the conveyor belt. This will be for packaging, and this will be for loading. Everyone clear? All clear. This is where you all come in. We're going to need logs, rocks, and tree branches. Chuck and I will build the foundation. <laughs> Thor and Unky, you build the walls and the roof. Uh -huh. <sighs> go, go! Turbozors! And in the meantime, we'll keep watch over the mushrooms so that no one even thinks about eating them. Very impressive warehouse, everyone. And now, we can move on to packaging, and before you know it, we'll be ready for delivery. But how will we get them to everyone in town? Not to worry, Katie. That's a task for Jerry and Joe. Enough already! How will we carry them all? I said that's too many! What are you thinking? You can't be serious, Jerry. The baskets need to be filled to the brim. Yes, but I'm the one who has to fly to town and carry that heavy load. Let's see who gets there first. Good luck, guys! We believe in you! Ah, la 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 Ha! It looks like I'm way ahead of Joe. Plenty of time to rest for a refreshment. What happened, Jerry? Do you need help? Oh, no, no! I'm just checking to make sure that none of these mushrooms are the fly agaric! But you know that the fly agaric is red with white polka dots. Now, Catch up. Uh, so much for being ahead. Uh, 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 wait! Wait for me! Mushrooms and berries? From the woods? Oh, what a nice surprise. Thank you. Ah. Huh. Shoo! Shoo! Don't you know I'm in a rush? Huh? Yeah. You're welcome. 
<laughs> it's a miracle. It's raining mushrooms. That's no miracle. It's the fast and reliable delivery of forest gifts from me to you. Enjoy yourself. I've got to rush to get home before Joe does. No. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I confess, I was rushing to beat you home, and look what happened. No one loves to race more than I do, but sometimes it's better if you take your time. When you do a job, don't rush and make sure you do everything carefully and correctly. Now, let's go home. When I thought I was rid of all my caterpillars. Oh, the horror! Your caterpillars are eating all my raspberries. <sighs> and what makes you think that these are my caterpillars? Oh, because you just said you thought you were rid of your caterpillars. Uh -oh. Okay, kids. I need you to run to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. While I take a little... <gasps> <laughs> Can you imagine all those caterpillars taking over like that? And then the neighbor jumps in and screams, Oh, the horror! Oh, the horror! So you're saying the caterpillars are scary, but the neighbor's an even bigger uh -huh. horror? Can you imagine? There's a caterpillar curse. Not to worry. We heard all about it from Jerry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hop in. We'll go to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. I think maybe I'll join you. Hooray! We're off to get the remedy. That gives me an idea. <laughs> Oh! Are we here already? Where's the store? I think maybe I'm due for a paint job. Red is totally in. Are you trying to drench me in every pool of water we pass? No, I think that blue is more my color. My mommy always told me I shouldn't remove anything from our world. It's very dangerous, you know. But there's no danger here. Besides, this is the best thing in any world to get rid of those pesky caterpillars. I think it needs water. One crazy dream. Can you imagine? There's, there's this enormous. What? Not the caterpillars again. The other remedy ate the fence. What other remedy, Unky? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
You must really be hungry. And get a load of the angle on this one. Now that's what I call talent. That plant is a predator. For people in this world, it is very dangerous. We must dig it up and take it back immediately. Go, go, Turbozords! Chuck, you hold him by the branches. Unky, you hook him and wrestle him to the ground. Thor, you dig up the roots. Nothing is impossible! <laughs> We have to save the little one! Jerry, make sure this plant gets put back where it belongs. Uh -huh. We need to stay here and mend the fence before Grandma wakes up. 